Okay, uh, so what is a Pi 400? Um, it's supposed to be a fully fledged uh, computer where the only thing you need is a monitor or a TV. It's not really a kit like the ones you see on Amazon or eBay. Um, everything is one neat little package and reminds me of uh, uh, Sinclair ZX Spectrum I had back in the day. Um, it's just uh, this one is uh, thousands of times more powerful. Um, it's based on the Raspberry Pi 4 uh, with 4 gigabytes of RAM. And uh, let me just be clear that they didn't just stuff a Pi 4 inside the keyboard and uh, call it a day. Uh, Pi 400 has a newly designed uh, board inside. Uh, it's not necessarily a better board, uh, but it has a different form factor to better suit the enclosure. Um, I will talk about it in a, a little bit. Uh, one notable difference that I do want to mention is that Pi 400 comes overclocked to 1.8 GHz from the factory uh, versus uh, 1.5 GHz for Raspberry Pi 4. Um, it has a large metal plate um, the size of the keyboard underneath, uh, which acts as a giant cooler. Um, you can still easily overclock, overclock a Pi 4, uh, but you will need to buy a cooler separately. Um, now, let's take a look at what's in the box. Okay, um, let's open it up. So here's the keyboard, uh, the Raspberry Pi 4 is integrated um, inside, you can um, see all the ports uh, right here, um, these are your GPIO pins, so looks uh, great so far, um, let's see what else we have here, this is the uh, power supply and I believe this one is uh, 3 amps and uh, yes it is, so you guys can see right over here. See what it looks like. Yeah, very nice. I like it. All right. And this is you guys see. This is a mouse. Let's take a look. So it's not wireless. Um, it's wired. Yeah, looks nice. <clears throat> um, you also get this uh, micro SD card reader. Uh, this is uh, you'll need this if you want to image the uh, micro SD card. And by the way, the micro SD card comes inserted um, already um, in the box. So if you open the box, the card is already in the uh, plugged in the keyboard. This is a beginner's guide for Raspberry Pi. Um, and you also have um, a micro HDMI to HDMI cable. Um, you'll need this uh, to, plug, to plug your Pi into a monitor um, because it does not come with the standard um, HDMI port. It comes with two micro HDMI ports instead. Um, anyway, so this is what we have in the box. So one thing I do want to mention is, um, so what if you were to get it um, as a kit, you know, instead of buying this uh, Pi 400, uh, what if you were to get this uh, piecemeal, all you need is um, basically a keyboard and a case. Um, so this is my uh, Raspberry Pi 4 with eight gigs of RAM, uh, but this would be basically an equivalent of this. So the nice thing is um, I can still use my keyboard for something else and not just for this uh, Raspberry Pi. Um, and then I like this form factor too. I mean, um, it looks, uh, looks neat. And this one has an active cooler so I can overclock it to 2.1, 2.2 gigahertz. Um, anyway, you do have this option. You don't have to buy the uh, Pi 400 kit uh, necessarily. Um, so guys, I wanna talk about the ports a little bit. Um, you may notice that uh, you do give up one USB 2 port. So the Raspberry Pi 4 uh, comes, the standard one comes with four ports, two USB 3 and uh, two USB 2 ports, um, like this one right here. Uh, but on this one, they decided, looks like they decided to uh, lose one of the ports. Um, another thing that uh, you give up is you don't have access to the uh, DSi um, uh, connector for displays. Um, again, may not be that big of a deal. Um, also, you don't have an audio out um, here either. 
so the sound would have to come through the um, your monitor through the HDMI through the HDMI port. Um, the nice thing is um, you do have a power button um, on this one, like unlike a regular Raspberry Pi. Um, so function F10 uh, can power off your Pi, so that's a nice addition. You also, you also have this, um, these LEDs over here. Um, so yeah, I mean, not, not a bad uh, package with um, some comp compromises, uh, just something to keep in mind. Okay, uh, let's look at the ports that the Pi 400 does have in more detail. I think it's important to spend a little bit of time on this since I expect that some of you have not had a Raspberry Pi yet. So um, the very first one on the right that you see here is not really a port. Uh, this looks like a hole for the laptop security cable. Um, this is useful for a school uh, where you need to secure multiple Pi 400 devices as they may go missing. Um, the next one here is an Ethernet port. Uh, you can connect it directly to your router, uh, but you do have Wi-Fi as an option, uh, both uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Uh, so I don't believe most of you will find a need for it. The next one here with a white insert is a USB 2.0 port, uh, which you can use to connect a mouse, uh, which does not require any high-speed data transfer. Uh, the next two ports are USB 3, in case you want to connect an SSD or a flash drive. Uh, you can also have um, the Raspberry Pi boot from either one, so you can have it boot from an SSD, for example. Um, the next one um, is a USB-C port. Um, it's used for powering the Pi. Um, I highly recommend that you use the adapter supplied with the kit as anything below three amps will most likely cause issues. The next two ports are micro HDMI. Uh, you can connect up to two 4K monitors, uh, but know that only one of these ports can support 60 Hertz. Um, usually it's the one closer to the USB-C power port. Um, on this model, I haven't tested it, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, another caveat, if you do have two monitors running in 4K, then you cannot run either one at 60 Hertz. So both would have to be um, at 30 Hertz max. Um, okay, now the next one is where the micro SD card goes. It's uh, self-explanatory. As I mentioned earlier, you do need to set this up uh, with an OS. So you need to image um, something like a Raspberry Pi OS on it. Uh, you should see the link right now on your screen uh, where I can walk you through the basic uh, setup. Um, and then last but not least, uh, here are your GPIO pins. Uh, this is where you can connect various sensors and other devices. Okay, let's move on. And uh, now is a good time uh, to like this video and subscribe uh, to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. So as you can see, this is a pretty good package. Uh, the keyboard looks clean and nice. My only pet peeve is the key travel. Um, it's a little bit shallow, uh, but I know it's not uh, fair to compare it to uh, my mechanical keyboard. Um, so the Pi 400 kit you see here is $100. Um, is this a good value? Um, I believe so. If you were to buy this uh, piecemeal, you would probably spend just as much or more. Uh, the question in my mind is, uh, what are you giving up? Um, if you're using your Raspberry Pi for various projects and you need a small board, um, you can add to a robot or you want to add uh, various devices that depend on the Pi's standard footprint, uh, you're out of luck. You could take it apart, uh, but the board is almost as wide as the keyboard. Um, and as I mentioned, you're also losing a few ports, uh, specifically a one USB 2 port, an audio out and a DSi connector or display serial interface connector. Is this a deal breaker for you? Um, if you're just starting out, uh, probably not. Uh, but once you get the urge to tinker with it, uh, you might find yourself buying a standalone Raspberry Pi. It doesn't look as pretty, but it gives you a lot more flexibility. Also, if you take a look at my Raspberry Pi 4 with 8 gigs of RAM, right here, um, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I overclocked it to 2.1 gigahertz by uh, using an active um, cooler. Now, let's talk about when this kit makes sense. Um, if you're just starting out, I think this Pi 400 kit is great. Um, you get a faster Pi out of the box with nothing you need to mess with. All you need to do is just um, image the micro SD card, plug it in, and um, it's a great way to get started and learn about computers. Another potential use is if you need a cheap PC to check your email and work on an occasional document. I don't think you can beat this. Um, one caveat is the current iteration of the Raspberry Pi is um, too weak uh, for videos most of the time. Also, um, just something to note, you can't stream from most of the popular platforms like uh, Netflix and Amazon out of the box. Um, it could also work if you're just going to play around with various operating systems and applications or if your projects only require access to the GPIO pins, uh, which this uh, board does have. 
So at the end of the day, I think you have to decide if it's the right kit for you. Uh, please leave your comments below. Um, I would be interested to hear uh, what you're using it for or just feel free to ask any questions. I appreciate the time you took to watch this. Uh, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you.